Greetings, comrades, and welcome to another episode of Crisis in the Kremlin. One thing I did find out is that apparently, because of the music playing right now, uh, all my Crisis in the Kremlin videos have copyright notices on them. The only problem with this is that it means that these videos are monetized by the copyright holders. Uh, so, if you do care enough, simply tell me, and I'll just, like, lower down the music volume. Now, right now, since the ecology is very low, uh, everything says it's zero, but I assume that's because I just lowered the game in. The ecology is low, so I'm putting more into that. Obviously, very little right-wing loyalty. Let's go ahead and make sure that the Stalinists get their power. And actually, we can finally do mutual aid between allies. That is huge. Now, first we're going to do a little bit of uh, military aid just on everyone. That will decrease their disapproval levels. You know, I'll just do one, I think, on each of these, because we don't need it to be insanely low. We just need them to not revolt and uh, have capitalist restoration. Uh, and we're out of political power, which means we have to go to the next turn. Soviet weakness. Matthias Rust, a Western pilot who illegally land on the Red Square. Minister of Defense D.T. Yazov says that anti-air divisions didn't interrupt the flight because after the incident with the South Korean plane, they weren't allowed to shoot down civilian aircraft. Moreover, Chicago Convention allows only to demand landing from light sports planes, which is a lot harder than destroying them. Some figures claim that our marshals and generals aren't professional enough to stop this flight while ignoring the fact that the Soviet anti-air system purpose is to repel attacks, which can deal significant damage to the country. Our economy simply can't afford prevention of trespassing when we have 60,000 kilometers long border. So, we could cleanse the military, we could blame the generals and Persian army staff, or we could claim that we allowed Russ to cross the border, or send protests to his country. And I don't believe we actually saw who, what country this person came from. I do remember hearing about this before, but as said there, there wasn't anything about trespassing. The anti-air system didn't fail, it just wasn't made for that purpose. So. We're just going to say that we allowed Russ across the board because it's true. During their speech, it became known to the world that Russ was granted permission to cross the board, which shows our peaceful politics. Russ was soon sent to the best hotel in Moscow and is meeting with Comrade Leader. <laughs> Comrade Leader. Boy. So now we have political power, and so we can actually do this. And this... That's how we're going to make all our money. So we're going to take Algeria. And we are going to give them a lot of civil aid. Okay. And let's see. How much political power do we have now? We've wasted all of it. Remnants of Joseph Mengele, who of Auschwitz officers, were found in Brazil. So, we're going to have a meeting with the Brazilian leader today during official meeting between the USSR and Brazil, which was organized by us. Trees of fight with fascism were signed. Also, another questions were discussed. And yes, that does bring them into our sphere of influence, which is very good. Ah, uh, we have a lot of political power now, so we can just keep getting so late. Now, Two things. Because we got their country development up to 100, Algeria is safe. They cannot gain any more disapproval, which means that they cannot turn blue again. 
it also means that we can now extract their resources. So as you can see, if we had colonialism, which is obviously more extreme, if they had less than sunny development, then we could do it. But if we had mutual aid right now, we need the dissatisfaction and to be lower than 70 and the development to be over 70. We have both of that right now. So let's look. You know, I didn't actually look at what that cost us, the civil aid. So currently it has negative 17 in the budget. If we extract a resource, we can see that it increases by 10. And so this is a very effective way of extra of getting your income. Of course, it does increase disapproval level because people don't like that other countries are extracting their resources. However, if we simply do this a few times, then as you can see, we have an immense budget that we can spend for other things. For example, we can finally give more to the ecology. Uh, medicine appears to be degrading right now. Opposition are decreasing. I assume the numbers that are under here is to say that they're increasing somehow. Uh, I don't rem I haven't taken the tutorial since a few updates ago. So the essential commodities are increasing. Housing employment is stable. Mines of realization is going down. Freedom is going up. Uh, there's very little luxury. Law and order is going down. But let's see. Okay, so agricultural power also going down, but only slightly. So I say we saw that cultural contentment was decreasing, and so we are going to uh, put more money into cultural enlightenment. Contrary to popular belief, Soviet Union wasn't all hum and drum. There were a lot of Soviet films that came to be because of socialism and communism, and it sparked a very social uh, revolution just as much as the literal revolution. Also going to put money into the technology front. Not so much in medical, because I think... I guess medicine was decreasing a little bit. And really, we could just keep extracting resources as long as we had political power, but we're going to wait. Ooh. Our economy is stagnated and some commerce is just action. Some of the want, some of them want, I assume, to implement the acceleration policy, which expands the import, budget extents, expenses, and officially admits ec economy problems. Others suggest to restore Andropov's method of discipline, which were cancelled by Chernetko. I just think that is a lie and supports the idea should be purged. Um, yeah, we'll just do Andropov's methods. Campaign restoring discipline and order in industry gave us positive returns. Total income increase of 3% and production increase of 4% are expected. So that took a lot of political power away from us because we had to discipline someone, or not someone, but the various industries. It did, however, give us a small profit. And so, let's see, how's the ecology doing right now? Stagnating, okay. We'll actually just put money in there. Terrorists or hostages. In our new issue, you can read that an Egyptian plane was recently captured by Americans. The USA claims that it was used to transport terrorists from Egypt to Tunisia. The Egyptian government, represented by Mubarak, accused the USA of piracy. We can't invade Egypt, which would be how you get them in the red otherwise, but we can say it's not our business. Now that was bad, because it doesn't actually make them blue. I would have assumed it did from how it was phrased, but as you can see, 
other countries have their disapproval level raising, but Algeria either didn't or it just had less. Our agent recruitment. Today, Aldrich Ames, which was recruited in the USA, was sent to the Soviet Department of the CIA, which allowed him to get access to the profiles of American spies in the USSR. Aldrich used to drink a lot and get depressed, staying that he's disappointed about the USA foreign politics. But now he can help for a small amount of money. I think we're going to recruit him and fully exploit because we have plenty of money. He's revealed from 12 to 25 CIA agents, including GRU General Dmitry Polyakov, KGB Colonels Alexei Kulak, Vladimir Pigozov, Lieutenant Colonels Verimirzov, and Sergei Malturin, etc. So what that did was actually reveal a whole network of spies that were instituted by the West. Now, we do want the KGB to have a lot of power. So let's look at our technology and think about what else we could put in, potentially. Uh, agriculture is a big one, but it seems to be doing fine by itself. Uh, we could also put more into weapons increasing, which... I think we might want, because we are going to be doing a lot of that. But first we're going to re-equip the KGB. And let's for a hell of it just look at the player text. The enemy is not sleeping. State defenses must be equipped with the best technologies. And now we have negative 30. And we have no political power, oh boy. Well, the corruption is increasing. That's very bad. Prisoner divisions. The Afghan war takes too many resources from our state. Some comrades suggest to restore World War II policy, which will allow prisoners to shorten their sentence by selling them open. Of course, they will be overlooked by special CSS officers. And I think that's a great idea because, again, we need soldiers in the field. So prisoners returned from Afghanistan early and injured, but system works, and we could spend additional resources to com combat Islamists. The West has already called it Return of Bloody Stalinism. Well, I mean, that's what we're going for right now. So, Gold Reserve is decreasing, because we have had a few times where it's just gone down. We've had negative finance. But now... We can go back to making money. And we want Algeria to be as under control as possible, but we also don't want to overlook our other allies. I believe these can't get to blue unless they get over 30 disapproval. And so now, what we're going to do is we're going to subsidize Gwene, Nassau, and we're going to also subsidize Tunisia, and we are going to subsidize both Ghana and Benin. And I don't know if that actually takes political power or not. It very well might, but for now, let's see, what are we low on? Oh, we have corruption to worry about. So one thing we can do is have more computerization and civil technology. Uh, for the corruption, I think the computerization is all that actually helps. Or, well, it's the only technology that helps. Now, if you invest it too much in anything, then uh, corruption increases because obviously you're paying people too much money and they're wasting it. Now, if we increase the fight against corruption to 100, we should see positive results. Everything is quiet right now. 
profit decreased by a lot because we were mass subsidizing. But as you can see, that automatically increases the country development level. And with nothing of interest going on, I think that's where we end it for today. So do like and subscribe and comment and do all that fine stuff. It really means a lot to me. If I can get anybody to subscribe to this channel, anybody to comment on this, that would just mean the world to me. But uh, just keep checking these videos out. Goodbye.